Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on complementary and supplementary angles. Our objective, again, is to classify angles and identify and use complementary and supplementary angles. Our real-world link is on bridges. Engineers use angles to construct bridges. The Golden Gate Bridge is created by combining angles as shown. And you can see we have the line and the ray, so we have these two angles right there. What types of angles make up the two marked in the drawing in the bridge? Well, they look like they're right angles to me, and they are. So, right angles. What is the sum of the two angles marked in the drawing on the bridge? Well, if this right angle here is 90 degrees, and it is. And this right angle here is 90 degrees, and it is. 90 plus 90 gets us 180 degrees. So in the space below, draw a figure that contains two angles that have a sum of 90 degrees. Well, if I start off with just drawing something that looks like a right angle, we know that's 90 degrees. And if I draw a ray coming out here, then I have two angles that add up to the 90 degrees. And there is a relationship for that. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is dun, 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 90 degrees. So what we just drew was actually a complementary relationship. The two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. And then two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. So it's all about the relationships again. A special relationship exists between two angles with a sum of 90 degrees. A special relationship also exists with a sum of 180 degrees. The symbol M angle 1 right here means the measure of angle 1. Now, in our first examples, we need to identify each pair of angles as complementary, supplementary, or neither. In example one there, angle one and angle two form a straight angle. We have angle one here and angle two here, and together they form this straight angle. So the angles are supplementary. Now, in question two, the angles don't need to be adjacent to have a B complementary or supplementary. If you look, we have a 60 degree angle and a 30 degree angle, and when you add those up, 60 plus 30 is 90. So even though they're not adjacent, they are still complementary because they add up to 90 degrees. So using that, let's see if we got it. In example A, we have 85 degrees and 90 degrees. Well, if I take those two angles and add them up, 85 and 90, I end up with 175 degrees. Well, it needs to be a 90 degrees for complementary, and they need to add up to 180 degrees to be supplementary, so our answer for A is actually neither. And if I add up the angles in example B, 75 plus 15, that is 90 degrees. So those two angles together form a 90 degree angle, which means they have a complementary relationship. So complementary are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary is two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Now, we can also use that to help us define the value of x. Now in example three, since two angles form a right angle, they are complementary. So we can say that this angle here, the CBD, which is labeled as 2x, and the ABC, which is labeled as 28, we can say 2x plus 28 equals 90 degrees. And we can set up an equation, 28 plus 2x equals 90 degrees, and solve for x. You can see how they solved to get 31. Same concept with example four. We have two angles that add up to be 180 degrees. We're told they're supplementary. 
So we can take the 123 degrees and the 3x degrees and say that they are equal to 180 degrees and then solve. So now we get to try to find the value of x. Now, there is this right angle here, and there are a couple different ways of looking at this. This is a straight angle, and we have these three angles on that straight line. Well, we know 90 degrees of it is taken up by this right angle, which leaves us 90 degrees left for these two angles. So if you can see that, then we can simply write, well, x plus x needs to equal 90 degrees, if you can see that complementary relationship, which then 2x equals 90, and when you divide by 2 on both sides, we get x equals 45. Now, that may be hard to see, and that's okay. You could also go back to this straight angle and say, okay, x plus x plus 90 equals this straight angle. So there's nothing stopping you from saying, all right, x plus x plus that 90 is going to equal that straight angle in 180 degrees and say, okay, that's a supplementary relationship there between those three angles. That's okay as well. Because as you solve this, you have 2x plus 90 equals 180. You would subtract the 90 from both sides. We're left with 2x equals 180 minus 90 is 90, and now we're right back where we were in the other question, or the other method. When you divide by 2 on both sides, x is still going to equal 45. So there you see the three angles adding up to 180, or if you can see the x plus x being a right angle, a complementary relationship, you could just set it up, x plus x equals 90 as well. Both work. Now as we stop and reflect for just a moment, circle true or false, the sum of two angles that are supplementary is 180 degrees. Well, yeah, that's true. And in our fifth example, the picture shows a support brace for a gate. Find the value of x. Well, these two angles, the 10x and the 80 degrees, form a straight angle, so they're supplementary. So we can set up 80 plus 10x equals 180 degrees and solve that for x. x in that example was 10. So let's see if we can do the same thing. What is the measure of the angle given by the opening of the scissors? Well, we have 116 degrees here and 8x degrees here, they together form 180 degrees, so they are supplementary. So we can say, okay, 116 plus 8x is going to equal 180 degrees since they form a straight line and are a supplementary relationship. Then, if we subtract the 116 from both sides, We are left with 8x equals 64. Then, when we divide by 8 on both sides, we end up with a solution of x equals 8, as 64 divided by 8 is 8. And that is it for this lesson on complementary and supplementary angles. Good luck.